So this is the ferry at uh, Satun. And this one goes to Langkawi. Langkawi, I don't know how you pronounce it. I'll figure it out by the end of the trip. Here's the ferry that goes across. Looks like real calm water. At least where it's shallow here anyway. Looks like a real old boat. the parking area it's huge I didn't think it was this big and apparently it's 20 kilometers to my uh, hotel it's gonna be about 300 uh, baht or uh, 30 ringgit that's by uh, taxi by by vehicle and then it's gonna be 240 baht by motorbike so either way I guess I want to get there now maybe I'm gonna take a run up real quick I might just do it once today and once tomorrow or see how I feel tomorrow I might be able to do it twice maybe just do it twice today not sure how it's going to go. Anyway. So this is the Panorama Hotel in Lankawi. And it's nice, big pool. Foreigners sweeping the grass for some reason. Only uh, 1300. Okay, here's the place. It's called Kampong Buku, Malaysia. And the guys told me it was open uh, tonight, so not only is it a great place to climb the steps, but it's also a, uh, an amazing snaky place. This place has got to be filled with snakes. So it's just a uh, maybe 150 meter walk up to the top of this little hill along the stream. Earlier there were many people playing in the stream. Really, a, it's an amazing spot. But you can just go and sit in there and kids can play around. Everybody left already, it's only 4 o'clock. It's a bunch of people playing. I know I'm bouncing the camera all over the place, but I'm too excited to climb these stairs. I think it's 4,287 or something? Steps? And then I'm going to sit in the waterfall here when I get down. Wow. This is such a snaky place too. And then you can see the stream goes the whole way up, like around. It's really amazing, this place. If I didn't say that already. Okay. And then here's the start of the stairs. It's uh, 3.1 kilometers to the top. Highest step, 787 uh, meters. Number of steps, 4,287. Estimated time of travel, 2 hours and 15 minutes. Well, I think I'm going to do better than that, but I don't know how, how much better. I don't have much weight on me, on my back today. Just have a thing of water in my bag. 
And I brought my bag because I don't have anything else. I didn't bring a waste pack, so I need to carry my money too, so. All right, here it goes. I'm gonna start up the, uh, start up the watch here. I guess I could show you everything. Somehow. Exercise. Stairs. I think that will give me my heart monitor. Yeah, there it is. And the GPS is found. Great. I'm ready to go. Heart is already at 98, 100. All right, ready to go. I'll film the first little bit, and then I'll put the camera away so I can uh, so I can film the. Uh, or I'm sorry, so I could really concentrate on going fast up. And then maybe I'll shoot some on the way down. All right, wish me luck. So I have the uh, watch to show me the uh, heart rate. I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna moderate myself a little bit from what I usually do. I usually climb 300 meters. This one's like 750, I think. Something like that. Super humid today too. God, I already love this place. Some of this is runnable. There's some flat too. Oh my. All right, well, I'm going to shut it off. I'm going to do a little bit of jogging on the flat. I'm really going to try to get a good time up here. Because it might trash me for tomorrow to do another one. All right, cheers. Okay, I made it to the top. That was absolutely awesome. I never climbed that many steps in a row like that. I always have to go back down because I reached the top, but 4,287, huh, nice. And then here's a road that goes, excuse me, up to the top. There's a viewing tower up there. Unfortunately, it's 5 p.m. and uh, I gotta get back down. I It's gonna take me 30 minutes to get down the stairs, I think. It's gonna get dark pretty soon. Oh boy, <laughs> I don't know if I showed me yet. So I'm pretty wasted. I really pushed it. It took me, uh, I have to hit my timer to see how many minutes, 40, 46 or 47 or something. Forty-seven twenty-six. Oh boy. I saw no wildlife. I saw tail of a gecko and I saw a lot of grasshoppers. Oh man, that was killer. I really hope I have I don't know if I have energy to do it tomorrow fast. Hopefully I can find a uh, I'm gonna try to find a trail to run. There's another uh, mountain peak that's not this high, it's about 600 meters, that uh, supposedly has a trail up it, so I gotta find that tomorrow morning. Uh, I don't know if I check out, I'm a, oh, I get a shower after I get I don't know. Anyway, I, um, I like my hotel, it's uh, called Panorama Hotel. But uh, they don't, like they didn't even have bottled water or soda or anything, so they gave me a bottle and told me to fill it up at the cooler, so I, got, I did that, but uh, you know, I don't know about food tonight, they said I can order it there, but where are they going to get it from? I thought this was going to be like a nice restaurant, and I could have a good meal here, but I think I got to pay a cab to go to a decent restaurant. Oh man, I'm toast. You just don't know how to time it, you know, on the way up. It's, um, you know, it's fairly gradual, you know, at first. And then just the last uh, 200 meter vertical, it's pretty steep, really steep. Right when you don't have any energy at all. So I was just trying to maintain my uh, heartbeats per minute at 162. 
which I think is about 81% of my max. I was trying not to go too much over 80% the whole way, so that way I'd have energy at the top. And that, that really, I timed it about right. That's about as fast as I could possibly do it in the afternoon like this. With the heat, the sun is coming like horizontally at me. It made it super hot today. So yeah, I probably should have done it in the morning, but I was just too excited to come up here. Uh, really excited. So it usually takes people 60, 61, 20, 135 minutes. It took me 47. But I wonder how fast I could go if it was morning and it was a lot cooler. And maybe if I didn't even have water in my bag. Maybe 43. It's really a tough, it's a tough, tough climb. And I had to, I was running on the uh, horizontals as well. So uh, even some of the gradual steps, you know, that were spaced apart. And a lot, a lot of it was horizontal step. And I was running up that, like jogging up that. Whoo, boy. Glad to be here. So glad I came to Langkawi. Oh, there's the moon up there. And uh, this place is so snaky. I'm going to go snake hunting tonight uh, for a couple of hours at least. I brought my flashlight and some spare batteries. This, this whole entire place right here is just, it's at the base of a huge mountain and... Uh, it's all open at night, the guy said, so I can uh, just cruise around here and look for snakes until I get tired. All right, then, that's it for today. One more shot of the, um, the ocean down there and the, the plains. Wow. I wonder if I can zoom. And then I'll take some photos, too, some panoramas. All right, cheers. Anyway, you can see how lush this is. The steps are really well put together. Perfect, man. I mean, they're all concrete. They're roughly the same size. Um, they're all built well. I mean, none of them are falling apart so much that you're going to slip on one, I don't think. I remember. And they're all covered with leaves, which can be a little slippery, I think, on the way down. But... Um, Not too bad, really. I don't have any complaints. This is the best staircase I've ever seen. Look at that railing for uh, hundreds of steps. When it gets real steep, it's like they uh, stick the railing down. Okay, day two of <laughs> the serious climb up the stairs. So I couldn't go to the waterfall today because it was uh, apparently it's like 30 minute drive to get there and uh, I thought I was just gonna walk over there and uh, it's already eight o'clock nobody is at my um, my hotel at the at the office you know they're waking people up you know to see if they could drive me and then one guy said wait 20 minutes and he'll be ready he's gonna take a shower so I just said oh forget it man. I'm not going to have enough time because I'm going to take the ferry from uh, Lankawi back to um, Satun at 1 o'clock and I'm not going to have time if I go over to that place. Man, I wish I could have hit it, but uh, it's just too far away. Anyway, it's day two on the steps. Uh, my left knee, uh, kneecap right about here. I'm not feeling so good, but uh, I'm just going to go slow until it warms up and hopefully it will. And uh, I think today my plan is just a steady uh, walk up at a good speed and hopefully have some energy at the top because yesterday, boy, I had burnt myself out by the time I got to the top and was a little bit slow. So uh, today I'll take more photos also and maybe splice them into the video so you can see better what it's really like. It's really amazing. Today's even more humid than yesterday, if that's possible but a little bit cooler because it's morning it's uh eight something 8 20 maybe all right uh day two here we go and begin so just take it about this pace the steps are marked with numbers every now and then every few hundred really at first they're marked a little more often but like here, that was 20, here's 40 already. 
But, oh, big spider. Sorry, dude, I gotta break your web because hopefully we're gonna have more people come through here today. You know, I think I'm gonna be breaking webs the whole way up here. I have to find a stick. There's lots of things with thorns on them too. You gotta be careful. This thing is like a hazard. But yeah, I have about nine thorns embedded in my hand. But I have to get out when I have some tweezers. Because I was holding the railing like this on the way down. And bam, I hit a bunch of them. <laughs> I don't know, you kind of have to go faster here on these real shallow. Huh. It's really hard to pace yourself. Because I like to run on the flat too. Yeah, it's already my left knee feels okay. Let's see how it feels at the top. Alright, I'll take some, uh, you can see it climbs all the way up there. I'll take some more photos, I guess. Cheers. So here you can do two at a time, which is uh, a help because uh, these are far too small. These are not normal steps by any means. That one's like four inches. Most of these are five, sometimes six. And when they're close enough together, you can just double them. Boy. Sometimes even triple them. All right. Well, legs are tired already. <laughs> it's much nicer today without the sun hitting my back. It makes it super hot. Somewhere around 400 stairs. Heart rate is at 149. And I think I'd like to keep it about that. If I can. Heart rate 140. I just stopped for a second to see. My last video did not take. So now I'm at step 600. No, I'm sorry, 800. Heart rate is staying around 150. And I want to tell you about the wildlife because so many people are scared of what they're going to see. Uh, there's nothing to see. <laughs> as long as you're going fast, you're not going to you're not going to see anything really. I don't think. Uh, I saw some monkeys jumping through the trees yesterday. Far, not far away, 50 meters. Saw a lot of grasshoppers. I saw two spiders this morning. Uh, nobody's broken the uh, webs yet, so that's my duty apparently. And uh, that's about it. I saw one lizard. Hopefully this morning I see a snake or something, but I'm not counting on it. All right. Heart rate 146. I'm getting warm. At least my knees feel good. That's great. Calves feel good. Quads are good. Oh, it's a steep part up here. So here's where I got all the thorns in my hand. Some guys were yelling at me to stop so I could talk to them. And I brushed my hand right into all this stuff. And the nasty things. These are the worst. All right. Step 1200. And it's pretty, pretty much like this. Small steps that are just a bit of a pain to two step. So I just one step them today. Okay, so I'm at step, uh, I don't know, 540 meters. And uh, I just kind of lost my energy right there. Um, stopped to get a drink. And then I'll try to make it under 50 minutes. Uh, I just paused the uh, timer to get my 
my bottle out of my bag and everything. All right, cheers. At the top again. It's like rain coming in. Oh man, I'm really toast this time. Jeez. Only four minutes slower than yesterday. Which is good. Oh man, God. Totally burnt. Supposedly, see this is the road that goes from the bottom. I think it's uh, 14 kilometers long or something. But uh, supposedly it's only another 900 meters to the viewing tower, Gunung Raya. I'm going. Oh man. Yeah, so again, I didn't see any wildlife really. I saw a lot of termites, a couple spiders. Oh yeah, I saw one snake. I saw a uh, red-necked keelback. That was real nice. Went right across the path. Uh, but don't worry about snakes here. Um, if you see one, you're making a lot of noise coming up the steps, so they'll just get out of your way. All right, let's see what's up this way. God, I hope I don't see any monkeys. All right, let's see. Okay, so after the stairs, I continued up the hill, up this road here. So top of the stairs is something like 750 meters vertical. And then climbing up this road will give you another 150, so total elevation is 900 meters. Wow, beautiful when the sun comes out and clears everything up. Wow, very nice. What if you keep going up the road? There's this tower, they charge you a little bit of money, but I think you get a free tea, some kind of tea which some people said was horrible, other people said they were glad to have it, so we'll see. <laughs> it's an ego. Oh yeah, very nice. Maybe I'll do a panorama photo while the sun's out. Really beautiful. So, come to Lankawi. It's very really beautiful. There's a big millipede. So anyway, after you get off the elevator, if you take the elevator up, you're supposed to come around to the right and keep going up the stairs, but nobody told me that. So that's the way I'm going now. More stairs, more stairs. Lookout tower. At least there's a sign there. Can't see anything that way, but this way is pretty nice. And that way is pretty nice too. So pretty nice. I think this side is also all clouds. Pretty much. 
I gotta do some more panorama shots with the uh, camera. Okay, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go down the stairs. I was gonna go down the road, but, well, maybe I still am. I have to see if there's enough um, grass that I can, if I can take the grass the whole way down, then I'll jog down. Apparently it's 14 kilometers, so uh, I'm gonna get rid of the uh, water weight I have. Maybe I'll drink it all. And uh, get, get down the mountain, and I gotta go catch the uh, ferry across to Satun, Thailand. Well, yeah, this is highly recommended. I I didn't think it'd be this nice. It's really, really fantastic. Beautiful, just your mouth would drop open. I don't know if the camera shows it as as well as I actually see it, but uh, it's really nice. And then you get the tea at the top. You pay like a hundred baht, three dollars to get up here, but uh, they give you some tea. And I guess you could stay up here all day if you want. There's um chairs around the the perimeter here. And just a couple people here in the morning. A couple more coming up I saw pulled up in a car. But yeah, it's uh you gotta do this, it's free, you know, until you get to the top you pay three hundred baht, but you don't even have to. Now I'm thinking about living here. This place is um Probably as big as Samui, Kosamui. And uh people are super man. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable, I mean really. So it's got my requ requisites, it's got the uh stairs I can climb. It's got another mountain trail I can climb. It's got another set of stairs, six hundred and fifty stairs over at another waterfall which was too far away to get to this morning. And I don't have time because I gotta get that ferry, but uh yeah, and I'll bet there's just paths through up through this mountain as well. And there's a couple other hills here. I mean the whole place is full of hills. It's just a bunch of hills. It's it's very much like Hawaii as well. I mean when I look at it from here it looks like Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Very much or exactly. I mean it looks so much like Hawaii. <laughs> I'd have to uh why don't I create a website all about Langkawi? Hmm, that's an idea. Alright, uh, that's it. I guess I'll get down the mountain and maybe shoot some more from the ferry. Alright, cheers.